morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply Fun. I'm your host, uh, Aries, a.k.a. Rita, and that's Aaron. I want to apologize to all of you out there in uh, movie land for uh, being gone so long. We're gone for over a month. So, today we're going to be, and we've talked about it before. It's not the full reviewing, I don't know where the rest are. Yeah, reviewing The Banker by yes. H. Upman. Really, really beautiful looking cigar. Very refined look to it. Uh, that's one thing I did like right off the beginning. It's part of what attracted us both to wanting to try it, too. I gotta say, wasn't my cup of tea. Well, that and, should be safe for the end. Anyways, and, uh, the basic, uh, the wrapper, absolute beautiful piece of artwork, basically. Uh, as for the cigar itself, it had a nice wrap to it. It felt good, had a nice draw on it. Um, talking about the wrapper, um, it was a fairly thin wrapper, but, uh, I didn't, the smells off of it, as Rita had said, was, well, she hasn't said yet, uh, it's chocolate and earth. I uh, wanted and to, I'll, I'll agree with that. I wanted to say that, uh, for all of you out there, if you see me squirming, it's because it's too damn hot, and I'm trying to get over a cold, or flu. Yeah, hey, at least it'll make you sweat out the fever. Mm hmm yeah, and I'm risking getting sick by sitting next to her. So, anyways, uh, moving on. Your initial thoughts on Light Up. Light Up was toasted oats, nuts, and rice. Me, I would say it was very unique. It, it was not overpowering or anything. It was mild. There was something to it, but I couldn't say what it was. Um, something sort of elegant about it but at the same time there, nothing there um literally it seemed like there was nothing there but there was something i just couldn't put my hand on it one third for you i got hay earth and alfalfa uh, i might have picked up a little bit of the alfalfa um the kind of earthiness it's all kind of similar together but it was still very mild barely noticeable flavors in my opinion two-thirds two-thirds I got hay earth alfalfa and roasted nuts yeah, you should just go with what you find changed the only thing you found new is there was something like roasted nuts in there uh, I would say no change at the two-third point three-thirds three-third was roasted nuts toasted oats and toasted hay so essentially it stayed the same for you Again, no, with me, I flavors. would say that it stayed, not really, roasted nuts is the same as in two-thirds toasted oats. Yes, but there's toasted, toasted oats. oats and toasted hay. Yes, I guess if you want to add the toasted part. Okay. Um, but anyways, uh, I, I consider that there was a, a consistency in flavor throughout. And the thing is, at the price of this, I would never, ever, ever buy one. Uh, total waste of money, in my opinion. Now, I suppose the, if I had spare money laying around and I wanted something for early morning that wasn't too strong that would go good with a cup of tea, uh, this would be an absolute fantastic cigar. Uh, it, it seriously is a great lounge cigar for, you know, waking up. A breakfast cigar, if you will, because you don't want anything too powerful yet. Um, but as for putting my money into it, I can't afford this. And I'm not living the life of luxury where I can have a cigar every morning. So there's no reason for me to be looking for a cigar morning lounge cigar while reading the newspaper and eating some toast and drinking tea. Uh, it just it doesn't work. But the, the flavor is there, and so I could see what they were going for. It really has that vibe of being a bank cigar. Uh, when I think of bankers, I think of, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, Naga hide couches and uh, books like uh, Masterpiece Theater sitting there in a smoking jacket. That This cigar would very well fit with that type of scenario. Um, it is burning hot in here. Um, but, yeah, that's that's about the what I could say. is If you want something that brings that feeling to you, this cigar does it. But... I can't put my finger on the flavors. The flavors are just so minute that they barely are there. But it's an enjoyable cigar. I, it's just not something I could see paying for. 
So, my overall rating on this is going to be like a 7.5. Um, not worth the money, but heavy in flavor. If you got the money, I'll give this a 9.5 for early morning. Uh, or just lounging around and wanting something really mild. But, uh, personally, for my own personal use, 7.5 is the best I can give. I don't know where Rita went, so I don't know what her rating is, because she just wandered off. I'm overheating. I know I'm you're overheating, out. but we're not done with the video. Well, I figure I was. You no, know, you got to give your rating. <laughs> I give this stinking cigar a 5.0. It wasn't there. The price wasn't there. It didn't live point. up to your expectations, that's no, for certain. No, it failed miserably. In fact, that's probably why she's giving it such a low rating, as this was the cigar she wanted for months and months and months and months, and she kept talking about buying one, buying one, buying one, and every time money came around, we didn't have enough to buy one stick of this. Finally, we did get one because Sticks House of Cigars here managed to have them, and uh, she was extremely disappointed in the flavors. It did not live up to expectations. I have more happiness smoking Nub Connecticut's than this piece of You junk. have more happiness smoking smoking sandwiches from Holtz, which I will say in some ways is a better cigar. Um, uh, if if you want to talk about cigars, comparing it with a a uh, micro brew or custom beer or just PD multi type, then this cigar is basically it, it, the same as a beer it, uh, in a stick. If you got to get a H Upman, I'd recommend the Havoc or the Cameroon. Both of those are far better. Um, more flavor, more uh, lower price point too. Um, this this was just you know, too costly. I was thinking of buying an enough, entire enough box of these, yet they're not even worth my Thank money. Thank goodness you didn't. Yes, I'd be very I, disappointed. I guess if we were wealthy and we could make the mistake and have them on hand, it'd be a wonderful thing for, as I said, sitting around reading the newspaper in the morning. But we're not doing that. So anyways, uh, that's all I got to say on this. Uh, 7.5 and a 5.0. So. And well, what's your review of the H. Upman Bank here, little one? He didn't get to try it. I, 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 I don't like it. I give it a rating of 3. He Not probably says it's it. very pretty. And it is a very pretty cigar. Yeah, but you the, know... The it, long white wrapper on the front that says, you know, and then the banker logo. It, it's just a gorgeous looking cigar. It's not worth the Let money. Let me just put me. it to you this way. I can get one third Holtz uh, Buzzards Banquet 3 for the price of a banquet. Uh, I mean, a banker. A banker. Uh, for the uh, price of three bankers, you get a Buzzards Banquet. Uh, my name is So, would you rather thir uh, 30 cigars or three cigars? Oh, sorry. Four bankers for uh, Buzzards Banquet. I'd rather get 30 cigars. What do you think, Moppy? So I guess that's it, right, Moppy? Are yep, we done? That's it. Please, uh, please, and support, subscribe. Please post comments, leave feedback, and suggestion. Thank you. May God bless you. May God bless me. May God bless the world. Thank you, and have a nice night.